I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important concept about solving quadratic inequalities. And this comes from another request from our very brilliant student Irum. Irum thanks a lot for asking such beautiful questions and they really challenge me to put in the best and provide something which I think many students are looking forward to. And I hope this will be another very interesting video for many of my viewers and subscribers. Now before even I solve the inequalities, I've taken here six examples. We'll talk about when to use or and when to use and when we are solving quadratic inequalities. Let's try to understand the question itself. Quadratic inequalities means we are working with equation like ax square plus bx plus c. Now in this equation it could be greater than zero, right? Or we could have ax square plus bx plus c and here it could be less than zero. Well we could also use equal to signs, right? So I'm purposely avoiding them because equal to means you have to include them. That is it. Anyway. Now in these equations, I'm assuming that, uh, let me write that assumption, that A is greater than 0, right? So we are looking for positive value. That is a very important assumption. Because if A is negative, the sign changes, correct? Now if you have a quadratic equation of this form where A is positive, remember that, leading coefficient is positive and you're looking for greater than values, then it is or. But if you have a situation where are looking for within those zeros, then it is and. To, to give you a graphical example, let me just sketch a few graphs here. And then from there, we will uh, kind of provide you with some logic. Let's say if I have a parabola kind of like this, where the zeros are at minus 1 and let's say it is at 2. And if I'm solving an equation which is, let's say x plus 1, because that is 1, 0, times x minus 2, greater than 0. So greater than means or. What I'm trying to say here, that the solution is from here to the right, and from here to the left. Do you see that? Or. So, so it is either way. Outside. That is what we mean by or. The graph is positive when you go away from the zeros. Correct? Now on the other hand, if I have and situation, let me sketch another graph here. Let's give some values only for the sake of giving some values, right? Let's say we have this kind of a graph. And uh, this could be represented by x plus minus, right? So x squared minus 4, for example. And we want this to be less than 0. In that case, we are looking for a solution which is within. Do you understand? Which is within. So when it is less than 0, then and. So it is within this and this. So the solution here is, if I have to write this solution, how will I write? I will write that the x value is less than 2 and is greater than minus 2. Do you understand? And in this case, if I have to write the solution, how am I going to write? Let me push this page a bit forward. In this case, I will say x is less than minus 1 or x is greater than 2. You understand? So that is what and comes into picture, right? So that is what it is. Well, you should remember that you may have situations where there is no solution. For example, if I have this equation which is, <clears throat> let me write here, x squared plus 1 is less than 0. So we have no solution here, right? 
on the other hand we could have a situation where the graph is kind of like this right and in that case we are writing this is going downwards so I'm writing minus x square is it okay so so when I say minus x square and then let's say this value here is minus 1 and I want to say that it is less than 0 so in this case you see the graph is always negative so x belongs to real numbers will be the solution so we are expecting different types of solutions when we solve quadratic equations these are all the scenarios I hope the concept is clear and that is the quadratic equation where a is positive okay in that case for greater than 0 we are looking beyond so the answer will be in this case something like this is it okay where these s and t are the two roots sometimes there could be just one root but when it is less than then we are looking for the solution which is within so I hope that concept is clear and now let us take these questions one by one and solve them now let us look into detailed solution of quadratic inequalities we'll begin with the first two examples 2x square minus 8 is less than 0 so first thing is find zeros that is first thing so basically you need to solve for 2x square minus 8 equal to 0 right so you could easily solve this you can say 2x square equals to 8 x square equals to 8 by 2 which is 4 and so we get x equals to plus minus square root of 4 which is plus minus 2 so we get these zeros right now we are saying less than less than means as I discussed and right so this means and within so our solution here is that x is less than 2 and is greater than minus 2 do you understand so that is how the solution will be so I hope the concept is clear now correct so if you sketch this graph you will find what so let me just sketch and show you the solution so we'll just make a rough sketch right <clears throat> parabola opening up and we already know the two intercepts which are the zeros which are at minus 2 and plus 2 and the solution here on this line is kind of like this do you see that those points are not included less than means and within this region perfect now let's take the next one now it is greater than do you see I wrote it on the other side and I'm saying that the equation is greater than so now let me factor and solve so we will use different strategies to solve that will also help now clearly it can be easily factored this could have been factored also 6 is the product sum is minus 1 so 3 and 2 will work so 3 is bigger and we get x plus 2 now these are the two zeros if you want to sketch you can easily sketch this graph which will kind of look like this zeros at 3 and minus 2 so opening upwards so this 0 is at minus 2 this is at 3 and we are saying greater than that means the solution is away from the zeros not inside perfect so you write x is less than equal to since we are including this point minus 2 right or x is greater than equal to 3 do you see that part so this is the or solution so whenever we have a quadratic equation leading coefficient is positive do you see that so <clears throat> we know exactly when to use or and when to use and so do you see that part now let me trick you I would like you to say whether we should use and or or in these conditions okay so I hope you got the solution here x square minus 4x this that means greater than avail right so we are using or in this case here what do you think well let me mark it you see this minus here 
coefficient should be positive. So don't look at greater than and, uh, and just write it just odd. Do you understand? So basically, you have to take this on the other side. And once you do that, sign will change, right? Sign will change. So it basically becomes 0 is greater than x squared minus 9. Do you see that? So we are saying that this equation, x squared minus 9, is less than 0. So if it is less than, we are looking for solution of and. So at times we can trick you minus x. So remember, apply this only when a is greater than 0, right? So we are looking for positive leading coefficient. Then you decide. Very simple. Okay? And clearly, we have two zeros here x plus 3 times x minus 3. We want them to be less than 0. So the value of x is within minus 3 and plus 3. Does it make sense to you? So that is how we are going to solve it. Perfect. Next one. Now it's become very simple, right? Now this is a perfect square, which could be written as x minus 2 whole square. And we want that to be greater than 0. Now what is the solution? There's only one zero here, right? So except for that zero, all other values, correct? So, so if you look at it, we have, have a parabola, which is a zero at two, right? It's kind of like this. This zero is at two. So in this case, our solution is, you can say x is less than two or x is greater than 2, right? Or you can say x belongs to real numbers where x is not equal to 2. Either way, but it is kind of odd situation. So I hope you get the concept, right? So let's move forward. Take some other. This time, I've changed the equation to vertex form. Now this is a positive leading coefficient. Less than means we are looking for and, right? Now here it is greater than, so we are looking for or. Do you see how easy it becomes? Okay, so the idea here is to find the zeros. So once we find the zeros, we know exactly what the solution is, right? So let's solve for it. We have x minus 3 whole square is less than, taking 1 to this side, 1. And then we have x minus 3 whole square. Let's solve for, you know, it is and. So, so when we square root it, then what happens? Square root of 1 is positive and negative. So when we square root it, it becomes less than 1 and greater than minus 1. Okay? So now we have to add 3. So we have minus 1 plus 3 is less than x minus 3 plus 3 is less than 1 plus 3. And this is 2, and this is x, and this is 4. So x is between 2 and 4. You get the idea? So that is how we are going to solve it. You could also find a 0 first, right? You could find a 0 first and then also solve. So finding 0 was simple. You could have just equated like this. x minus 3 whole square equals to 1. And uh, that is to say, we write x minus 3 equals to plus minus 1. I mean square root, right? Uh, square root of 1 is plus minus 1. And then you say x equals to uh, 3 plus minus 1. So these are your zeros, right? Which are either 4 or 2. And then you can write down the solution which we wrote. Is that clear? So you could find zeros and then write down the solution. Correct? So in the last question, we'll first find zeros. Now here, this cannot be factored, so we'll use quadratic formula. So let's use quadratic formula. x is equals to minus of b plus minus square root of b square, which is 25, minus 4ac, 4 times 2 is 8, okay, divided by 2 times a, which is 4. So we get 5 plus minus square root of, so when you take away uh, 15, 8, 17, right? So we get square root of 17 over 4. Now that becomes your value of x. Since it is greater than, right? Since it is greater than, what the solution should be? 
x is less than 5 minus square root 17 over 4 or x is greater than 5 plus square root 17 over 4. Do you get the idea, right? So that is how we are going to solve quadratic inequalities. So I hope this video covers a lot. And uh, if there are still some doubts, do let me know because we want to come up with the best solution. And you know, thanks a lot once again for this beautiful question. So I hope you enjoyed the solution and you have understood the concept how to solve quadratic inequalities. First step should be to look for zeros and second is for this condition and or or and then you can easily write down your solution. I hope it makes sense. Thanks a lot for watching and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be even better. Thank you and all the best.